This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, find the length of the missing side of the right triangle in the figure below. So in order to find the missing side length in a right triangle, you're always going to use Pythagorean theorem, which has a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs of the right triangle and c is the hypotenuse. How do you identify the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle. So C is going to be 10. We know we're going to be solving for A. That means B, of course, is going to be 6. So let's plug these values in and solve accordingly. Uh, again, we're solving for A, so we'll leave that as is. Uh, we know B is 6, so this is 6 squared. And C, as I just pointed out, is 10, so this is 10 squared. All right, let's go ahead and work this out. Uh, a squared, 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36. 10 squared is 10 times 10, which is 100. Let's subtract 36 from both sides to get a squared by itself. This says a squared equals 100 minus 36. If you can't do that mentally, do it off to the side very quickly. We have 100 minus 36. We can't do 0 minus 6, and we can't borrow from this 0, so we're going to borrow from this one. This is going to become 0. This is going to become 10. We're going to borrow one more time. This will become 9. This will become 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 3 is 6. So 100 minus 36, in other words, is 64. Now, to get A by itself, again, we're solving for A, not A squared. We're going to take the square root of both sides. In doing so, this crosses out this square, leaving you with just A on this side. The square root of 64, as you should know, is 8. So we can see that A is 8, so this one is going to be C.